and this is Scarlet's Mommy again, and I got a fantastic book. I found this at Sam's Club, and I just thought it was real pretty, and it's Disney Stories. It's called Five Minute Easter Stories, and I'm going to start it tonight to read to you, and I'll tell you the names of the stories. Look how cute. And then you got in here, you got Thumper and the Egg. That's going to be the first one we start with, and these are the pictures. Let's start with Thumper and the Egg, and like we're going to have to go in chapters, okay? So after two minutes, I'll be going into a, another chapter. Okay, here we go. Disney's Bunnies, Thumper and the Egg. Thumper woke up bright and early, ready to explore. He had stormed the day before, and he wanted to see what the wind and rain had blown out into the open. As he hopped around exploring, he saw a mouse scurrying toward its tree, picking a pretty flower that had bloomed, and sniffed at a ladybug that had landed on a leaf. Then he saw a blue feather, feather, and he hopped towards it to catch it. Got cute pictures. They're just adorable. Look at that. Love that. Thumper followed the feather over a hill and down to a river. But he stopped abruptly when he came across something small and blue. Curiously, he bent down and sniffed it. Quiet giggles pulled Thumper's attention away from the object. He looked up and saw his four young sisters, Trixie, Tessie, Daisy, and Rhea, watching him from a log. They have followed him to the river and waited as he examined the strange object. Come over here and look at what I found, Thumper called. The four little bunny sisters hopped to meet their brother. What you doing, Thumper? Trixie asked. She had a big bushy tail and always wanted to know what was going on. Treasure hunting, he explained. The bunnies looked at the small, soft, smooth, round object. It's pretty. What is it? Tessie asked. She was the youngest bunny. It's a robin's egg, silly, Thumper said. There's adorable pictures on this. Daisy cheered. Oh, a birdie! She was excited. She loved making new friends. But what's it doing here? Trixie asked. I thought robins kept their nests in net their eggs and nests up in trees. You're right, Thumper said. It must have gotten knocked down in the storm last night. Well, what should we do? The bunnies began to worry about the egg. They thought the mama robin was probably worried too. Rhea hopped over to Thumper. You need to keep it warm and happy until it hatches, she said. Rhea was a smart little bunny, so the group knew she was right. Good idea, Rhea. We've got We've got to make the egg feel like it's wrapped up in a soft, cozy blanket, Thumper told his sisters. Rhea, Trixie, and Tessie hopped to it, gathering leaves from nearby bushes. Trixie started piling leaves on top of the egg one by one. That'll take forever, Tessie said. We should put a bunch of leaves on top at once. The egg will be warmer faster. No, 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 we have to surround the egg, not cover it like this, Rhea corrected them both. While his sisters argued, Thumper tried to figure out what to do next. Whenever he was confused, he usually asked his mama for help. Okay, this will be chapter one, and now we're going to chapter two.